the prime factorization of 5488 is to do prime factorization first we should frame it in this way c that is 5488 okay next for this number last digit is 8 which is even so we take 2 here the first number is 5 a number close to 5 in two table is 2 2 4 5 4 1 1 is carried forward making it 14 when do we get 14 in two table 2 sevens 14 the other number 8 when do we get 8 in two table 2 fours 8 the other number 8 when do we get 8 in two table 2 fours 8 Now for this number, last digit is four, which is even, so we take two here. The first number is two. When do we get two in two table? Two ones two. The other number seven. A number close to seven in two table is two three six. Seven minus six one one carried forward, making it fourteen. When do we get fourteen in two table? Two sevens fourteen. The other number four. When do we get four in two table? Two twos four. Now for this number, last digit two even, so we take two here. The first number is one one smaller than two, so we should take two numbers. That is thirteen. Whenever we are taking two numbers, compulsory we should put zero. But at the start zero does not count, so no need to write zero at the start. So here we have thirteen. A number close to thirteen in two table is two six twelve. 13 minus 12, 1, 1 carried forward, making it 17. A number close to 17 in two table is 2, 8, 16. 17 minus 16, 1, 1 carried forward, making it 12. When do we get 12 in two table? 2, 6, 12. This number, last digit 6, even, so we take two here. The first number is 6. When do we get 6 in two table? 2, 3, 6. The other number eight. When do we get eight in two table? Two fours eight. The other number six. When do we get six in two table? Two three six. Now for this number, last digit three not even, so this number not divisible by two. Next prime number three. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is three plus four plus three. We get ten. Is ten divisible by three? No. So this number also not divisible by three. Next prime number is five. The last digit is neither zero nor five. So this number is not divisible by five. Next prime number seven. Let us check divisibility for seven. That is three forty three by seven. Seven ones. Here thirty four. A number close to thirty-four in seven table is seven fours twenty-eight. Thirty-four minus twenty-eight is six. Six carried forward, making it sixty-three. Seven nines sixty-three. So yes, this number is divisible by seven. So we take seven here and here this number. Seven forty-nine times is three forty-three. Now here we have forty nine. Always remember seven square forty nine. Seven into seven forty nine. So here forty nine. So seven times seven is forty nine. Here we have seven. Seven is a prime number, so we take seven once seven. We got one here. So the prime factorization of five four double eight is the Product of these numbers. Okay, product of these numbers. How many times did we get two? One, two, three, four. So it is two into two into two into two. We got seven three times. So into seven into seven into seven. So this is the prime factorization of. Five four double eight. This also called as product of prime numbers of five four double eight.
am i clear